Hello everybody, my name is Johan and welcome back to Lifeline. Now, the last time um, I was doing Lifeline was last week, right? Pretty sure it was last week. No, we're coming, we're coming back. And here we go. She's in, and the pod says she's stabilized. Blood loss is dangerous, but not at critical levels yet. And this will keep the lung perforation from getting any worse. Oh man, I'm not alone on this stupid rock. This feels like a miracle. Don't celebrate yet. Um, you've earned a rest. Um, don't celebrate yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course not. Stable doesn't mean better. Plus, I've still got to figure out how to get us to get us rescued and get her some real medical attention. In the meantime, what? I guess I should go to to the rest of the crew, right? I mean, they're just lying there. I'm heading back to the other half of the ship, bringing the captain in her stasis pod and the guinea with me. I'll mes message you once I'm there. And I'm gonna stop a little bit. It's gonna be a while for me, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna cost you anything for you. It's not gonna be anything for you guys. So I will uh, be uh, right back. Oh, you're still here. Bye. Okay, so I am back, and um, I turn on the light um, on my room. So. Because I, I like the better because you can see it better like this. So here we go. So after a depressing trudge across a barren wasteland, we arrived once more at a crewless crew quarter. Crew quarters. My life has become bad middle school poetry. So I guess my options over here are either grave digging or else exploring the ship further. There's a corridor that branches. The way to the galley looks pretty scorched. The other option is the lab. I'm afraid that I'll find... I'm afraid of what I'll find if I check... On... If I check on my rats. If the humans didn't make it, what chance of those little guys stand? Try the galley, try the lab. Try the lab. Well, it's time to play good news, bad news. Good news, all my handwritten, written, all of my, all my handwritten notes are maze running and food seeking habits of spray dolly rats in various gravities. They're totally intact, so you can stop worrying. You can stop worrying up that this whole trip was for nothing. We got the good news. Bad news, their cage looks like it's been through a cage match. Half crushed, warped from the heat, and the rats are nowhere to be found. I'd love to believe I'd love to believe that they escaped into the ducks and they Wait, where am I? Oh, and they they're going to start repopulating this barren moon. I'm going to leave my notes here. Who knows? In a million generations, this could be planet's sake. This could be the planet's secret, his, secret historical texts. Good-ish news. I won't starve to death. I have rat food pellets and a full, half full ball spout water bottle. Won't you die if you eat rat food? Look at that. I called it half. Look at that. I called it half full. Feeling more optimistic already. So I guess I can count my blessing and snack on rat food for a while, or that can be 
distant plan B and I can go hunting for people food. People food. The door is super stuck. Fortunately, I am not above bashing it with scrape metal because confidently, I don't think we're going to because that sounds like I'm exaggerating. So let's say that getting into the galley is improbable. Highly, highly improbable. It's starting to get late anyway. The sun, or star, Tau City, is... I stopped to take any order. It's low on the horizon. I think of... I need to think about bedding down for the night. So what do you think? Keep bashing this improbable door in the hopes that that it gives in before I do? Or forget it for now and figure out my sleeping arrangement? Uh, forget it for now. She does need rest. Cool, thank you. I think I needed some, someone else to tell me it was okay to stop beating myself up. I guess it's time to start trying to figure out some sleeping plans. Alright, let's get, let's think through things, through things here. I'll try, uh, try and figure out what my next move is. The stasis pod is humming along nice, is humming along nicely. Keeping the captain alive, uh, keeping the captain alive and well, or at least alive. Still, as long as the guinea, as the guinea is powering the pod, there's no way for me to fire up either the distress, the stress beacon, or the gun turret. I'm not so worried about the turret. I seriously doubt there's anything else living on the rock, on this rock besides me. But what about the beacon? How will anyone know I'm here and alive? How will I ever get rescued? After everything, I can't unplug the captain for my own sake. Can I? Keep power in the pod or power the beacon? Power the 
pod, power of the pod, go, go, go. Right, of course, there's no way I'd let the captain die now. Not after everything she's been through already. Maybe in the in the daylight tomorrow, I'll be able to figure out some way to get the beacon working. Some part of me thinks they picked the wrong science student for this trip, or that I picked the wrong trip. Either way, this this has got to be worth some bonus points on the final grade. Tell City is down for is down now, and I don't mind telling you it's darker than a goth kid's journal, and colder than a, the prom queen's shoulder. So, uh, here's here are my options as I see them. I can stay in the wreckage, although I can stay in the wreckage, although without power into the ship. I can't reseal any door I've opened, so I'll have to, I'll have a roof over my head, sure, but I'll be exposed to the elements, or I can head around to the rear of the ship and pitch a tent near the re reactor engine, which is nice and toasty and warm. I can tell from squiggly heat lines it's sending off into the night. You like... You like that science speak? Squiggly heat lines? That's some advanced level to terminology right there. Only problem there is, there is radiation involved in that engine. And I'm not precisely sure whether it's enough to roast me overnight. So, would you mind doing a little research for me? I, if I don't get about 150 reds overnight, Will that kill me? My Eva who sensor tells me that uh, that's about what it's giving off. Can you look that up and let me know whether I get toast? I it'll it toast my marshmallows. Thanks, and that's where I'm gonna stop the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'm pretty sure I actually do have to look it up. I don't know, but I'm gonna look it up anyway. Um, so, thank, again, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel and you would like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed, show this video and any other video that I have on my channel right now to your friends, family, whoever is in the world. So, again, thank you everybody so much for watching. And put your comments down below because I'm starting to... Um, put some comments down in the comment section because I'm starting to, uh, I think I want to do some, like, reading your comments video, and I'm gonna do a reading your comments video very soon, so thanks again everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you.